Okay, so I finished my month vegan and I'm going to go through the reports of my bloods and compare them to when I was a meat eater. And uh, let's see if there's any difference. Now, I felt a lot better on the vegan diet, which I was surprised at. Um, my body stats were good, so I put on a little bit of muscle and uh, my sleep was better, performance was better. So um, I'm going to be interested to see what these results are like. So first of all, i move this over here. So the total cholesterol and HDL were low, indicating the need for omega-3 fatty acids. Now, my previous one, I'm going to compare them in a minute, but I think my total cholesterol was high and my HDL was still low. Um, so that's the, the cholesterol has come right down, but the HDLs are also still too low. So omega-3 fatty acids. So got to eat more fish or take some fish oil and get those omega-3s in. Um, high basophil and globulin indicate an inflammatory response and NAC may help with this. So NAC was a supplement they re recommended last time. Um, so I am going to say that I didn't actually take that throughout. So I'm going to purchase that and make sure I do. Uh, this time and low chloride indicates low stomach acid um, what I can do if I don't know what any of these words mean I can go to the website and uh, on humanfit.com there's a guidebook to tell you what these words mean and uh, and what it means when they're high and low um, okay diet and lifestyle recommendations so increase water and electrolyte intake due to dehydration uh, this was the same as last time I always think that I'm going to have this type of stuff. Um, I've had kidney issues since I was a kid. Um, I had part of a kidney taken out, so I'm always going to have to have, uh, you know, probably more water than normal, and that's always going to be an issue. Increased poly and monosaturated fats. So that was the same as last time as well. So I'm going to really try and push these right up now. Okay, and uh, so poly and monosaturated fats. So walnuts, olive oil. Um, sunflower seeds, I'm going to start eating those a little bit more and increasing my fish oil supplementation. So I've got my supplement recommendations, so take one cap of NAC three times a day, fish oil two caps three times a day and Nutrigest one capsule in between each meal. So I'm going to get on those. Um, it also says I should retest in eight weeks. So this retesting changes dependent on how kind of serious your test results are. So if they're fairly serious, they might ask you to retest in four weeks. Um, if they weren't, it might ask you to retake the test in 12 weeks. So monitoring creatine and urea. Um, right. Blood test results. So very quickly, I'm going to look at how many reds there are. So. I mean, yellows just indicate there's like a, a slight over or under out of the optimal range. Reds indicate that it's a little bit more and you, you should take a look at it. So this first column here is June the 5th and the second one is June 30th. So um, these are that's before vegan and the June 30th is my vegan one. So I'm just going to scan through and see how many reds there are. So one in the June, uh, my vegan one, June 30th, there's one two, three, five, and before, there's only four reds. So maybe that means I felt good, but it wasn't doing too well for my bloods, which is probably a common thing with a vegan diet. People feel really good because they've changed the diet and got more vegetables in, but long term, it might not be doing the best for their health. Um, so yeah, outstanding things. That one is still high. Any of them changed? The total cholesterol was 5.19 and now is 3.84. So high cholesterol and low cholesterol both can cause problems. Um, if you've got low cholesterol, you know it, it, it can be a problem for you trying to build hormones and um, if, if you're trying to build testosterone, for instance, then you need an abundance of cholesterol there. So I want the range between 4.14 and 4.65 and now it's 3.84, so probably worse off a little bit. No, no, it's close, but I'm going to bring that up. So I want my cholesterol to be higher, which means I'm going to put in a little bit more meat into my diet. Um, I felt good, so I'm still going to keep the basis of a vegan diet, so I might only put in you know, one meat meal a day and then see the difference next month. 
um, my HDL cholesterol was perfect. It was right in the optimal range, and now it's too low, and it's, it's gone right down. So 1.42 to 1.16. So I'm going to really need to bring those up as well. Um, sodium has got worse. I'm not sure why that is. Um, maybe I was using a bit more salt and everything because I wasn't getting meat. Okay, and chloride has got worse as well. Um, and creatinine there, okay. Right, they should give me a little comparison now. So once it kind of tells me what it all means above and what I need to change, so it gives you a good bit of information there. It's then going to compare the mumps in a little chart. Um, so this thing here just gives you a kind of overview of your organ function and any dysfunctions that are likely. It's not like completely accurate. It just says, right, it's likely that my adrenal function is poor, so I might want to get that looked at, which would make sense because of my kidney issues. Okay. So this is the nice thing about the human fit test is that you can track your blood test history, history report and you can see how it's getting better over the years. It's kind of a, a, a quick, cheap, easy booper type test where you can just keep track of loads of data and see how your diet's working for you. Um, move this over here again. Okay. So uh, I've got some test results from 2015 here. So I've been testing for a few years and, uh, and using my blood test results. And it's just comparing my kind of yearly data um, across. And the red ones here is where they're bad. So I've improved my sodium is too low and now it's too high from there. Um, anywhere that's got really good, that's what I'm trying to look for. Um, no, not particularly. Okay, and then it goes on to give me my kind of macronutrient results and, and a few more bits of information at the bottom. So, all in all, blood test results weren't great. Um, so, I'm going to try keeping a lot of vegan meals in and slowly putting in some good sources of meat and fish. Um, but I still do recommend people try out the vegan diet for a short period of time just so you can get used to um, increasing the vegetables in your diet and using things like beans and lentils, increasing the fiber in your diet. It's brilliant. And um, not relying on meat so much because you don't need meat in every meal and you don't need to eat it even every day. You just need to. Uh, individualize your diet and uh, and see what um, makes you feel good. Um, I'm going to put a link for the uh, recipes that I was using. So I've got a 28 day meal plan. I've got recipes, um, foods on the go, lots of tips and, and vegan tips. If you just pop in your email address and you can kind of download those recipes straight after this. Uh, any questions, just, just pop them in the, the comment section below. Thanks.